All right, so today we're um, looking at uh, morphological changes of oysters after they've been exposed or not exposed to blue crab predators. Um, these are oysters that have not had previous blue crab exposure. Y'all like come around here. Um, so um, first thing we're doing is measuring the diameter of the oyster uh, using um, just a set of digital calibers. So um, this one is 17.19, which Ben is recording. And then we're gonna use a penetrometer we're going to see how much pressure it takes to break the oyster. So I'm just going to apply pressure in the center of the shell. Until it actually breaks. And then it's going to record that that took 35 foot-pounds of pressure to, um, to break. We're then going to um, get the tissue out of the shell and then dry and weigh the shell um, to get shell mass. Okay, so um, we showed you crushing oysters that were not induced or to predators or had previous exposure to blue crabs. If you look at these oysters, they're quite a bit smaller. And just to give you some perspective, these are ones that have not been exposed to blue crabs. And so they're growing a lot faster. They've got a sharper edge. These are much smaller and much harder. So in the previous one, um, we measured it and we crushed it. I'm gonna do that again with these guys. Again, they're just smaller, um, harder shells. So. Um, the shell diameter is 12.45 and again we'll use the penetrometer device just to crush the shell and look at force. And like these are so hard, I, can't, I mean it takes all, all of my strength to really, to really break them. I mean they're really strong. So that was uh, 46 foot-pounds and to give you a comparison um, we were getting about 25 to 30 on previous oysters that were over twice as big um, as 